go through how to run a timecode quality check. In most cases, your timecode is going to be run to you over a hard line, but sometimes that hard line could be uh, of significant length or you could be running over a wireless timecode link. In those cases, sometimes it's a good practice to check the quality of the timecode uh, just to ensure that you're not going to have any issues uh, when you go to sync up during showtime. So the way we do this, we power the system on and in the operating modes, you can see that choice number four here is for timecode. And that essentially puts you into a timecode check mode. And it's asking you what type of timecode. And since Pyro Digital FSK is almost exclusively what we use, it's the only one I'm gonna talk about here, but you do have other choices such as SMPTE. So Pyro Digital FSK is choice one. So we're gonna hit that. Right now it says no audio because we're not actually uh, receiving any time code and it's going to tell you that until it until the time code uh, begins to feed. And once the time code does come through and it starts to see valid frames, it's going to uh, have an error count at the bottom of the LCD screen here that will basically give you an indication of how good your time code is. If you have a hard line, uh, good quality, short run, uh, you should essentially have no errors there. Uh, over wireless link, sometimes you know, you'll see periodic errors, which is fine. Uh, really that initial sync up is the most important because if you do lose time code in the middle of the show, the computer will automatically uh, flip over to internal clock mode. And in most cases that doesn't affect the timing of your show in any visible uh, amount. 